Uh, we must obey our father. He is so very faithful. Um, this is a pop-up. Happy Shavuot. Yes, yes, Lady Karen. Hey, hey. Praying for those in India. Much love to you, Lady Amber. God bless you. Um, yeah, and we, we will release a message concerning Shavuot Pentecost because actually it is, um, you know, in, in the States, we, you know, according to the calendar, the Gregorian calendar, what have you, um, they're celebrating Pentecost next Sunday. But for those who follow the Hebrew calendar, um, it actually is today. So happy Shavuot, each of you. Happy Feast of Weeks. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, I got it. You are so awesome. You so bomb.com. Um, the Feast of Weeks, it also is happy Pentecost. So there is another word that we will release as Father uh, um, affords us to be able to do so. But we want to be able to share this with you tonight because he said, get on right now. He was like, share this with your brothers and with your sisters. And so I, I put none shall lack her mate because that's the text of the scripture that we're coming from. But uh, the husband, wife, man, woman, you know, believe in father uh, for divine reconciliation, restoration or supernatural kingdom marriage, what have you. Um, the father is saying none shall lack their mate in the name of Jesus. None shall lack her mate. And um, all also with the word that he wanted me to release is also very significant that it's not on hold any longer. It's not on hold any longer in Jesus mighty name. Blessings and love to you, Lady Lawanda. So glad that you are here. Hallelujah. And so blessings to you, Lady Teresa from Toronto, Canada. We got some Canada, some Canadian people on here tonight. Welcome, welcome. I'm so grateful for your life. Blessings to you, Lady Tasha. Um, a blessings to you. I so appreciate you. I'm still excited for you, Lady Luana, what Father is doing for you in Jesus' name. And so for those of you who are part of, um, I did release a portion of what I'm about to share right now because Father caused me to see this before I came on as confirmation of this word. And that's what he's telling me right now. Blessings to you, Lady Nazara. God bless you, Lady Latasha. And so, um, um, woman of God, I love her so much. She actually got married. Father caused her to enter into her supernatural marriage on um, Monday, May the 3rd. It was such um, and a significant time. And so, um, and, and also it was actually restoration and reconciliation. Father Father is doing all that I'm telling you is happening. And so um, y'all know, typically when I plan on come on, I'm, you know, got on my little faith t-shirt or something like that. Just wanted to lift him up. So this is off the cusp. This is a hot off the press. He wanted this release right, right now. And so um, this um, on the day of her wedding, literally I was um, headed somewhere. And so um, to, to take care of some things and on uh the freeway because i just gotten off the freeway and um on the on wrap that would have been above that i was getting ready to go underneath um i saw eight white birds eight you know you can call them pigeons you could call them doves or whatever, but i saw them and there were eight of them it were eight pairs and eight represents new beginnings it also represents infinite or forever you know because there's no closure there's no end and it also represents represents resurrection. And so wherever you find yourself, I just believe our father is doing that. It also represents worship. And so but father um, was sharing with me earlier today, like it was impressed in my spirit that worship is so important, so significant in this hour because his love for us, you know, so he's looking to share you with someone, right? As he's connecting you with your divine mate or what have you. And so he doesn't want you to forfeit or forsake any way you your relationship with him, your time with him, because he's already going to have to share you. And so he's looking for us to have balance, right? And so worship is so significant. Worship through reading the word, through your prayers, through also, you know, just your, your meditation upon him and your worship, your singing, your praising, you're giving him honor, the glory that is he's due, your acknowledgement of him and his presence. There's nothing that can touch it, nothing that can replace it, right? And so I see um, these pairs, you know, and we're looking into coming into the new beginnings of Almighty Jehovah. Blessings to you, son, if you want, as well as to you, brother Jeff. God bless you. And so, um, you know, as as I 
saw these birds um, and it was like the day before I had saw a bluebird, not to mention. So after I saw this bluebird, um, I saw it again later in the week. And then not to mention, I saw it earlier today, like within the last couple of hours when I got back. And so I'm sharing that because father is moving. The other thing I saw after I saw the bluebird um, was a red, a red robin. I saw a red bird. And so when you look at the red bird, you know, they represent joy, happiness happiness, passion, you know, all those kind of things also represent love, represents power, so many other things, balance, family, right? And so I was like, Father, I just thank you for speaking and for releasing. And so, um, and then matter of fact, when I got to this location, it, it's near um, a pond. And so, you know, there has a beautiful fountain there. And it was like my car, I didn't understand it because in my car, I was trying to, you know, put the lock on it, kept beeping like there was something that was open. So I was like, okay, well, what's open? And the hood happened to be open. So I had to close the car. And so I was like, daddy, why did this happen? And so I looked to my left near the pond and I saw two ducks. I saw two ducks literally, you know, um, by this thing. And I, so I was like, like, okay, father, that's what you wanted me to see. You know, again, it was a pair because father is pairing those up in Jesus name, even as they did when Noah built the ark, you know, and they came in two by two. And, you know, when Jesus, when he sent the disciples out two by two, right now, my heart is saying that father, what he has called them for two by two to be lined up, but in kingdom marriage, so that we can accomplish the will of our father so that we can multiply that what that was the original intention right so we can walk in his divine dominion and power especially for this end, end of the time the end of the signs movement that he is doing that he was releasing in the earth in jesus mighty name so i see a pair of ducks and i'm like this yo like wow and so i actually went to walk over there towards the pond and um and so they had gotten back in the water and then uh, as I was standing there only a few feet away you know well probably ten feet away because he's saying it's the completion of an order a cycle they began to get out of the water I've never seen ducks like come towards people into the you know out of the water like that purposely I didn't have no food I wasn't offering them nothing you know what I'm saying. And here they came. And so they're coming up to me. I don't have anything in my hand besides my phone because I got to take a picture of this. And so they get close enough. Now they're within eight feet of me. And I'm like, okay, Father, here we go. In the new beginning. He's sharing that with me now. Um, and because this is what literally the people of God are walking to you. Blessings to you, Brother Michael. So glad to have you on. And so um, as as he's showing me this, and here they come. And so, uh, in Jesus mighty name. Now this, um, I saw a crane last week, a crane. And, and you know, you don't see them typically, definitely not very frequently. And as I saw this crane and, and I'm like, Father, what is the symbolism for that? But one of the things that he wanted me to release regarding the crane that I saw is the fact that when I saw this crane um, and it was just standing, it was just fine. But when I went to approach this crane, like it started going the other way. And what father wanted me to release when, um, when I saw that he said to tell somebody, hallelujah. When, when, and I was walking to it. He's the father is saying in Jesus name that unless he sends you, um, this is the time where he, he is presenting the woman. He is presenting his daughters to his son in Jesus' mighty name. You know, we always quote, when a man finds the wife, he finds the good thing and obtain a favor before the Lord. And that is true. That is the word. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18. But it also several times, you know, we understand in Genesis, he presented Eve to Adam, right? Come on, somebody. Listen. And then there was the time where Esther was presented. You know, it was her time to come before the king. And so there was a presentation. And so he wants us to release that as well. You know, we also understand that Ruth, you know, she was presented. There was the time where she was supposed to show herself even before Boaz, right? And so, um, and that's in Esther chapter number three. And so father has a way of doing whatever he's doing, but he's saying, unless he orchestrates it, it's not for you to go and start trying to go to this man of God that he, even if he's revealed it to you, if he's not led you, if he has not made the way, you need to be patient because the crane, it was, it was coming towards my direction. But when I noticed it coming towards my direction, 
direction. I started going towards it and it started going the other direction. And sometimes, you know, you need to let the man of God do what he's doing and not try to go and approach them. Let them still keep coming to you. And so listen, that's dual fold because however father desires to do it, you need to know what he desires to do with and for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And so as I saw this crane, the symbolism hallelujah of the crane represents purity vigilance you know and this is rare you don't see them all the time but father is speaking to us through words in jesus name uh purity vigilance you know this is the time for you to be vigilant in jesus name the kingdom of of of, of the lord start for the violent but the violent take it by four this is time for us to be uh, vigilant in prayer vigilant in our pursuit of him now the crane also represents longevity and good fortune listen this is not something that you know they're bocosi among the little it's the blessing of the Lord. Fortune can represent blessing. Now, the other thing that's a key indicator, and I thank you, Father, right now for the revelation. He said that he is reversing the curse of witchcraft. Because we have to understand that there are some of you who have been under witchcraft attack. And one of the signs of that is misfortune. Things that are happening that are unfortunate, right? You know, there's a lot of confusion. Things are being twisted around. The, recently, there's also been attack of, 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 of Python, which tries to suck the life out of things. There also has been a major twisting of things, lack of uh, communication. Some of you have felt despair and whatnot. And so Father is saying that he is reversing the curse right now in the name of Jesus. And his fortune is coming upon you in the name of his blessing is upon you. So as he is so desired in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare in the name of the Lord. And so we rebuke all deception, rebuke all death, we rebuke and in any attempts of the evil one in the name of Jesus because in 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 some places it's believed you know while there's a yin there's a yang right you know and even in the word you know there are things that are dual fold and so we come against every effort of the enemy to try to twist the, what father would desire to do in the name of Jesus the enemy always wants to have a counterfeit to what our father is doing in Jesus name blessings to you lady Natasha much love to you woman of God you missed the additional revelation about what we're about to release but this will be a good reminder for you woman of God so since he's speaking to us uh, through these birds that he's sharing with us so listen so then i saw um a bluebird so again as i indicated you know i saw this bluebird on that sunday may the 2nd and i saw that again maybe a week ago and then before i was um released this word after i saw the two the pair of ducks i saw um I saw a bluebird out of the window. Like, I, it just happened to be that as soon as I, you know, made it up the stairs, I'm looking out the window. I just happened to see the bluebird fly and then go into a tree. I'm telling you, his timing is everything. He orchestrates everything divinely. And so he's saying to release this part of the word right now. And so um, bluebirds, they are, they're, they're aware. They know when it's time to migrate, their migration. Um, their parent, um, their family. Is, is uh, they represent the migration, and so some of you are going to be shifting in location. They represent parents, they represent family. M many of you are coming into not just your marriage but family and parenting. That means there's children involved. They represent joy, happiness. They also represent good news. In Jesus' mighty name, um, they sing songs, right? Uh, they love to sing, right? And um, and so there was actually a, a word that was released uh, concerning this article um i should say an article uh september 22nd of 2012 which is a significant day for me and so i just released the breakthrough i released the birthings over you all right now in the name of jesus hallelujah that judgment will come in your favor the fruitfulness as a wholeness as well with the number nine and then 22 represent expecting and awaiting testimony it's happening in jesus name and then even with the 2012 come on 20 waiting on the father and then 12 represents apostolic uh, government. It rep represents kingdom government and apostolic fullness. So we're coming into the fullness of the things that Father has already divinely orchestrated in Jesus' mighty name by his grace. And so, so they know when it's time to move. They know when it's time to move. They know when it's, they, they also can represent uh, being a forerunner in the name of Jesus. So Father is causing that to be so for many of you 
in Jesus' name. They also are territorial. Listen, and so that's going to make sense in just a moment. Now they produce between two to four broods during the spring and the summer. So those of you who have listened to our uh, the word that Father causes to release regarding the months between April and August, four months, right? But there was also going to be um, the, the wheat harvest and the barley harvest. So there's two separate seasons. And so even as we're coming into the Feast of Weeks, we're coming into that second harvest, right? Uh, which is the barley harvest right now in the same season. And so they produce between two to four broods between the spring and the summer. And so that be happens between March and August. So Father is confirming again that this is that time in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. And so there's some things that are significant to the Northeastern United States. And so he wanted to release that because there's going to be a significant influx. This is a word that he has released in via kingdom, but also to highlight that specific area in Jesus' mighty name. And so the males identify their potential nest sites and then they try to attract their perspective um, their, or, and or potential uh, female mates uh, to come to those nesting sites. And so the father, I'm like, why did you see me, show me this bluebird? Now the bluebird that I saw was more vibrant than any other bluebird. I, I've never seen a bluebird that vibrant. Like that color was just bomb.com. You know what I'm saying? It was like super blue, right? It, it was almost in between this this drink right here, this blue um, and a little bit darker. You know, it was so vibrant, so colorful. And so I, I never seen in, anything like that. And so the, what what is essential to understand is the ones that are the more colorful do represent the male bird. And so this word, is to encourage those of you who have been believing God, especially the daughters of God, that the male birds, that the blue birds, have presented themselves, are being presented in Jesus' mighty name. They're showing up and they're ready. And this is what Father wanted us to recognize. There are many of you who are like, I saw a bluebird yesterday. I saw a bluebird yesterday. You know, and th that's not a bird that is predominant in the area that I'm in. You know, so many times, you know, you see, the, you know, ravens and, and that kind of thing, but he's highlighted this. This particular bird and so the bosutobokosi amanda le bokosi anda basha to the bokosi anda le bokosi amande he shibakunda le makasi ando le bokosi anda so they have these behaviors that um end up sparking the singing and and the and and so they begin to flap their wings you know to catch attention uh, of these female birds right and so you know someone actually had released the word that this is peacock season trinity of love um, ministries release at peacock season, you know, at, at, at one particular time. And so we know that they begin to show off. And so in Jesus mighty name, father is sharing with us that literally this is the time that it is happening with the nesting in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as, as this male bird, the male blue bird is doing this, then the woman or the female bird, when she accepted, then they come to the nesting site and then she's able to incubate the eggs and so um that's really significant to understand because again this is in order for you to multiply for you to produce this is bigger than you in jesus mighty name this is for the growing the experience expansion of the kingdom of almighty Jehovah for him to reinforce and re reinstitute um, his initial intention in the earth for marriage and for family in Jesus mighty name. And so um, again, the males are more uh, brightly colored than the, uh, than the females in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So he wanted me to release in Jesus name because the, the world will make you to think that, you know, uh, that, that that the men are you know are a reduced species like they're 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 gone away that they, you know where are they at you know or that they're nowhere to be found but the father is saying that he has highlighted them he is sending them in Jesus mighty name and now is the time that he is doing so in the name of the Lord God Jehovah hallelujah and so father we honor you today and we thank you for your word and so um this is where we were um and so he shared this with me thank Thank you, Father. Have your way. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 34, and this is where we began. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
He says to read this first. So in Ezekiel, um, in Ezekiel chapter number 16, verse number eight, I'm in the message translation of the Bible. It says, I came by again and saw you, saw that you were ready for love and a lover. So Father is saying for those of you who this words are for, the man of God said, they're still here, the sons of Almighty God, Jehovah, I'm telling you. And, and, and Father has been preparing them. They're not a failed species. They're not an absent species. Come on, somebody. Listen, and there are good ones that Father has made, that he has prepared, that he has equipped, that are going to love you like Christ loved the church in Jesus' name, according to Ephesians 5. Now, y'all, women of God, make sure that you're Ephesians 5 woman as well. Come on, Proverbs 31 woman and a Proverbs 31 man, because it takes a good man that Father has anointed and ordained for that woman of God to allow her to be her maximized self as well. So it goes both ways. Come on, somebody. And Father is looking to cause that to happen happen. And so he's caused us to move supernaturally. Now you can't want something supernatural that's from father that you are not walking a supernatural life, right? So without holiness, no man shall see him. And, you know, without being able to uh, live that life or walk that walk, you know, his spirit is not going to dwell in an unclean temple. And so, you know, if you're believing for him for something supernaturally, you're going to have to, you, you know, continue to live that life to maintain what is that he desires to release into your life. And for some, of you as you are in the spirit of God, as you have his spirit on the inside of you, that is what's going to tell you, you know, how to be able to be at the right place at the right time, the instructions that you're going to follow. And you're going to be detailed to be able to do what you're supposed to do in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, the, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the man of God said a right rib. I'm trying to tell y'all, you know, and we release this at one point or another. But, you know, um, that there is, as 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 as, uh, as the Lord took, uh, as our father took the rib out of Adam, you know, he's able to say, that's bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. So there, there is an identification of that which is of them, not just anyone will do. You know, I don't want to rack a rib, says the man of God. I want my rib. You know what I'm saying? This is one of those things where, you know, you put away those foolish things, those childish things, and you just want what our father wants for you in Jesus name. And so you're able to be able to be identified. The other thing is if you're not authentically who the Lord has called you to be, that person when they're looking for the bone of their bone and flesh of their flesh, they're not going to be able to identify that which is they've been called to and that which has been called to them in the mighty name of Jesus. And so to father alone be all the glory. So the father is saying unto you, he's saying unto me, he's saying unto us as we read this word, hallelujah, as we receive this word, in jesus mighty name hallelujah father have your way and so listen people of God. So the father is saying, according to Ezekiel chapter number 16, verse number eight, for those, this word is for, it says, I came by again and saw you. I saw that you were ready for love and father has no, he knows when you're ready. This is not something you just trying to be ready for, but, but he knows when you're ready. Right. And so, because you don't want something premature because anything that you get premature, like a, a premature baby, unfortunately, so many times it ends up on life support. You know, you don't want something that is on life support and, and you want something that you're ready to take home you're ready to receive it home and so we pray for all babies who are in you know NICU and that kind of thing because they were born prematurely but I, I pray that you catch the revelation you want what father wants for you in the timing that he wants it for you in Jesus mighty name because then it is able to be sustained it's able to sustain itself this is still a good place to share and invite in Jesus mighty name so I came by again and saw you saw that you were ready for love he knows when you're ready for love, you ain't going to, you know, you, you're not going to mishandle it. You know, you're mature. You know, you're ready to um, be able to compromise with your spouse the way that you should reason with one another. You're able to walk with one another and agree. Come on in Jesus mighty name. And so, um, 
He says, I saw you that you were ready for love and a lover because sometimes, you know, maybe you're ready for love. Maybe you're ready for a platonic, you know, uh, maybe you're ready for a friend. Maybe you're just ready for a B BFF, you know, maybe you need, you need girl time or, you know, for the brothers, maybe you just need your boys or what have you, but maybe you need father's love, right? You know, maybe that's what you need. And then maybe it's time for you to be restored as far as, you know, the love of your family, you know, who you are, how you receive receive our father, right? Having those wounds being closed. You, he said, I saw that you were ready for love, but not just ready for love, but also a lover. And that's what the word of the Lord says, and a lover. And so father is saying, I know when you're ready and I know when you're ready for not only the love that I have for you, that I desire for you, but also the lover that I have for you in Jesus mighty name. And he's a lover of our soul. Come on, somebody. Um, but he's also he, what he's speaking tonight is uh, for that natural in Jesus mighty name where he is able to cause you to be able to receive his heart in the flesh, the flesh of someone that he has made for you in Jesus mighty name. Blessings and love to you, Lady Lakita. And so it says, I took care of you. You, dressed you and protected you. I promised you my love and entered the covenant of marriage with you. Father is saying, I'm doing this for those who are in covenant with me first, right? We are in covenant with our master, with our father, with our Lord. He is a lover of our souls. He is our first husband, man, right? He says, and so I came into, I entered the covenant of marriage with you. I, God, the master gave my word. Listen, this is something that he gave his word. He put his word on it. He he says, you became mine. I gave you a good bath washing off all that old blood and anointed you with aromatic oils. He's talking about process, right? You've been processed already. Hallelujah. You were his. Then he gave you a good bath. You've been cleansed, you know, washing off all that old blood, all that old residue. You know, some, some of you have blood on your hand. All that's been washed away. And then he anointed you with aromatic oils. We know that uh, literally Esther went through her 12 months of cleansing and being prepared and everything. Right. And so I dressed you in a colorful gown and put leather sandals on your feet. The father is saying for some of you, you've come into your place in your time of favor where maybe he's dealt with you. He's changed your wardrobe, you know, that kind of thing. And, and so he's put on a different dress, a garment, but also sandals on your feet. Hallelujah. He's touched your walk. He's caused you to walk with him the way you so desire. I gave you linen blouses and a fashionable wardrobe of expensive clothing. In other words, he's saying, I take care of you and he take good care of you. Blessings to you, Lady Obapa and Lady Ray. Maj, it says, I adorned you with jewelry. I placed bracelet on your wrist, fitted you out, uh, fitted you out with a necklace, emerald rings, sapphire earrings, and a diamond tiara. Listen, this is because you don't need to be a gold digger out here in these streets. Okay. Okay. And I'm not saying nobody is. I'm just putting that out there. You know, we're not looking for candy land. We're not looking for sugar daddy, you know, nothing like that. Because father is saying, I take good care of you. I didn't, I didn't took good care of you, right? And so it says you were provided with everything precious and beautiful. So you're not looking for a savior. You got one, right? And so it says uh, with exquisite clothes and elegant food garnished with honey and oil. I've met every single need that you had physically, naturally, you know, even your food, your provision, right? You were absolutely stunning. You were a queen. You became world famous. Listen, you were a queen. You are a queen. He's anointed you to be, for us to be kings and priests and queens, you know, right? So he said, I, I, you were a queen. You became world famous. He gave you notoriety. People began to take note of you. And many of you are experiencing that right now as well. And so he says, hallelujah, that not only did you become world famous, a legendary beauty brought to perfection by my adornments. We have to realize that it is him, that it is his love that it is his goodness, that it is him that caused us in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, to be brought to perfection. No goodness of my own. You can't twerk good enough, baby girl. You know, man of God, you can't make enough money that you flipping and flying around to make somebody, you know what I'm saying? For that which our father has, it comes a whole nother way. And so he says, this is brought to perfection by me, by my adornments, by what I did. Decree of God, the master. Check this. This is a word of warning, just so we have that balance. But your beauty went to your head and you became a common whore, grabbing anyone coming down the street and taking him into your bed. Father is saying, this is not the time for you to get counterfeits or clowns. And they can come in a female form or a male form. I'm just trying to tell you. Okay. And so he's saying, don't become a 
common. Like, you know, th this is where he's looking for you to be exemplary. He's looking for you to be the exception. He's looking for you, for you to be the exception, the exceptional, right? Th don't allow what he's done for you, the favor that he has put upon your life for it to go to your head in the name of Jesus. And so listen, then he led me to Isaiah. He put this scripture in my spirit. Isaiah chapter number 34, verse number 16. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, read the rest of this that, that, that text. So I'm going to read it real quick. And so it goes on to say, um, you took your fine dresses and made tents of them, using them as brothels in which you practice your trade. And so he's saying, this is not something that you're looking for it to take care of you. You know, he's not. And, and so it said, this kind Kind of things should never happen never this should never be what happens this is never should be how we roll as people of god and then got the nurse to call it a blessing no 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 he's not in that and so you know he, it, this is never be how it happens never i gotta hurry up and flow because you know i got 10 percent battery left and so isaiah chapter number 34 verse number 16 says in the niv look in the scroll of the lord and read this is the word of our Father today. Look in the scroll of the Lord and read. He's already documented this. These supernatural marriages have been made before the foundation of the world. They've been ordained before the foundation of the world. He connected them. He's connected you. And that's why when you run into the, your mate, you're going to know them by the spirit. You know, you won't even have to take all these years and all that, you know, that the world say to be able to connect with them because you know them by the spirit. The word of the Lord said, look in the scroll of the Lord and read it. Hallelujah. Read it. There shall be clarity. Some of you are going to read it and weep because it's like going to be so tender to your heart. And then there are some people who are going to be disappointed because, you know, you're going to wake up and say, no, you was never it. It's time for you to move on. Move on. <laughs> move on dot com. Like for real, for real. It says none of these will be missing. Not one will lack her mate. The father is saying whoever you not one of these will be missing. It ain't going to be where he do it for some and not do it for no not one of these none of these will be missing not one will lack her mate for it is his mouth that has given the order it is the the mouth of our father who has given the order in the mighty name of Jesus and his spirit will gather them together. In the message translation it says God has personally commanded it all. His spirit set it in motion. This is not you. This is you doing what he's called you to do. Being in position and then he sets it in motion in the name of Jesus. He commanded it all. God has assigned them their place, decreed their fate in detail. He's decreed it and he's made the specifics all the details. He got it and this is permanent what he is doing generation after generation in Jesus name. Somebody asked what chapter I'm in Isaiah chapter number 34, verse number 16, uh, currently going back to the NIV. And it says this, look in the scroll of the Lord and read none of these will be missing. Not one will lack her mate for it is his mouth that is given the order on the mouth of our father and his spirit will gather them together. Father is causing a gathering together. Just like that pair was able to come up. They were together just like the blue bird. She's causing them to be seen just like the uh, you know the eight so doves you know were all there all, all the eight pairs of them were already their father is saying that he is pairing them together he's causing it to happen in jesus mighty name now this right here is what blessed me next because as i was sitting down father had told me he said um I, yeah permanent this is good bomb.com this is forever.com right hallelujah forwards ever backwards never father is causing a fast forward in the spirit of divine acceleration in jesus mighty name and what he does is eternal in Jesus mighty name that's why he showed us the eight it's eternal it's forever it's permanent in Jesus name so listen as I was sitting down because he told me to come and read my daily Bible reading um, that don't be starting nothing Lady Lawanda come on Lady Natasha as I was getting ready to um, do my daily Bible reading and so I sat down and um, my part of my Bible the pages were folded and so I went to un the pages and so as I looked down um it was this scripture that was before me and I said father 
really, I was like, this is why you wanted me to come reading right now, because you wanted me to have this word. And this is the word that he wanted to release to you all, because not only is he doing that, but this is the word of the Lord in Ezekiel chapter number 12. And my word was right here, Ezekiel chapter number 12. Um, and, and, and it says in verse number 21 through 22, y'all remember 9, 22, 12 was the date that that article was released about the bluebirds, right? It says this in Ezekiel 12, um, 21, 22 is the first part of this in the message because it groups them together. God's message came to me, son of man, what's this proverb making the rounds in the land of Israel that says everything goes on the same as ever. All the prophetic warnings are false alarms. And there are many of you who feel like things have just been going on the same as usual, you know, or day in, day out, you know, it's the same set of circumstances and it felt like it was the same. And it says, he says, what's this proverb going around the same as ever? Tell them, hallelujah, they say all the prophetic warnings are false alarms. The word of the Lord says, tell them, God, the master says this proverb is going to have a short life. You know, he's like, no, what I've spoken, what I was promised. No, that's going to come to an end right there. What they talking about, yo. He says, tell them times about up, times about up. That's what father is saying. Times about up. Every warning is about to come true. False alarms and easy going preaching are a thing of the past in the life of Israel. I, God, am doing the speaking. I don't care who said it. I don't care who talking about it or what have you. Father is saying, this is a prophetic prophetic word, grace and mercy. And so you got to be able to catch how father wants to release his word through his logos that matches up with his rhema. And so this is the, the word of the Lord on tonight that he wants to share to us that as he is expressing his heart for us to get clarity regarding his timing in Jesus name. And it says this, and blessings to you, beloved woman of God. Time's about up. Every warning is about to come true. False alarms and easy going preaching are a thing of the past in the life of Israel. I, God, am doing the speaking. He said, I am doing the speaking because some of you have felt like, you know, um, it was a false alarm or maybe you were involved in something or maybe it seemed like it was going good and then it went left. You know, you felt like finally you were going forward and then what happened? Or some of you, you got into something and it seemed like it was going good and he was like, er, pump the brakes. That one ain't it, Joe. You know what I'm saying? And so those false alarms, you know, those almost, they are a thing of the past in Jesus' mighty name. It says, God, I, God, am doing the speaking. What I say happens. None of what I say is on hold. I want to release that to those of you who are here tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, that none of what he says is on hold. For those of you, this word is for, he says, what I say, I'll do and soon. I want you to know, I'm not trying to blow smoke for the, and I continue to say for those of you this word is for because you know if you've been in the secret place you know if your heart been right you know I'm not saying perfection because it, he already said that he's the one who perfects us but your heart you know has been right you've been doing all you know to do you've been following his instruction and, and I challenge you to go to him and say father is this your word for me because he will give you additional instruction and revelation and so that must be clear the prophetic word is never the be all end all for many of you it's a release it's an activation and because it's authorizing his release in the earth, but also hallelujah, because he said, I will do nothing in the earth without first revealing it to my servants, the prophets, Amos chapter number three, verse number seven, but also as we understand what he is releasing, because he gave man authority and dominion in the earth, hallelujah, and so when he has a vessel to be able to release and his will through, hallelujah, he is absolutely doing it in Jesus' mighty name, and so go to him to confirm that this word is your word that you have received from him, that this is the time and thereby he is doing it in the, in the name of Jesus and then really receive the rest of the instruction that he wants to give you concerning you and your life in Jesus mighty name because again it's that supernatural and where the Holy Spirit will instruct your footsteps to be able to walk into everything that he's spoken and said in Jesus mighty name blessing to you lady Gladys and so times about up what I say I will do none of what I say is on hold none of the words of our father is on hold what I say I'll do and soon and he called them rebels because at that time that he was frustrated because they didn't believe he was going to do what he said he was going to do. 
And so, Father, may we not be ones that find ourselves in a place where you call us rebellious because we um, doubt that you're going to do what you said that you are going to do or in the time or in the ways in whereby you said it in Jesus' mighty name says, this is the decree of God, the master. God's message came to me. Son of man, do you hear what Israel is saying? Now, you know, now, you know, Kurt, when he repeats himself, he mean business. I'm telling you because God is not a man. He doesn't have to repeat himself. He is God. God of the universe, right? So for him to repeat himself, you know, he's feeling the type of way. And too many have said he ain't going to do it or it ain't yet. And da, 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 da. and he's like, no, I'm going to come and set the record straight. He was like, God's message came to me, son of man, do you hear what Israel is saying that the alarm the prophet raises is for a long time off that he's preaching about the far off future. And some have felt like it was going to be a long time off preaching about the far off future. Can I tell this story for this woman of God that I was telling you, I went her wedding, you know, was was a part of her wedding. May the 3rd, where Father brought them back together. The man of God showed up in March. Come on, somebody. And they're married May the 3rd. You know, it, it's a reconciliation, but I'm telling you, it don't take our Father all day to do nothing. The man of God pr proposed on that Wednesday, and they were thinking they will wait till December. Then they were like, oh, that's kind of far. You know, maybe a month from now, end of May. That, that was from Wednesday. By Friday, two days later, come on, somebody. They were like, nope, because of the prophetic word that was released through three prophetic vessels Hallelujah. Um, Prophet's Mama Vivian Chuma Ugo Chuku, as well as Prophetess Elect Pastor Rose Igwe. And then Father used a word through a teaching that he gave us to release. And the, the, by that, that same day, they decided that Monday, that three days later, come on, somebody, that they were going to be married. Come on. It doesn't take so in under seven days from proposal, they were married. If they were married within five days of a proposal that sounds like a lot of grace to me i'm telling you and so it says you know they're saying it's a long time off it don't take father all day to do nothing and i want to share this because father also said hallelujah he gave a two-month time frame and it happened within the two-month time frame he is a man of his he is a god of it he is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he shall repent set has he not said it shall he not perform it he will do what he said he was going to do and so it says that they were saying that he's preaching about the far off future Future. Believe it if you want to, that it's going to be far off. Don't be found as in a place of a rebel. Father, may it not be them. May it not be these. May it not be their portion. And so it says, well, tell them, God, the master says, nothing of what I say is on hold. What I say happens, decree of God, the master. And so we release this to you and upon you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, that nothing of what our father says is on hold. What he says happens in the mighty name of Jesus. And it brought me to tears the way he did it, because he was like, I, I need you to come and, and get in your word, get in your word. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to get do my daily Bible reading. But he had another message that he wanted to release and he said release it to your brothers and your sisters so father in the name of Jesus I thank you for every vessel that is upon here on tonight via the multiple platforms in Jesus mighty name I thank you hallelujah and even now he called me to take a look right now we have 321 people that are all these platforms that are watching right now father is saying that it's the divine countdown and listen it just came up to 324 I'm telling you in Jesus mighty name hallelujah in, in other words that father is causing things to line up in the mighty name of Jesus. So I release that upon you, hallelujah, that he is causing things to line up as well as they are on the countdown in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you glory. That it is not me and I'm not so wonderful, but it is you that you are wonderful and that you will back your word to the hill. I thank you, Father, that you will fulfill every word that you have spoken concerning your sons and your daughters in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that you are lining them up. I thank you that you are lining things up. Father, I thank you that the countdown is here because nothing of what you say is on hold any longer in the name of Jesus. Father, you are joining hallelujah your sons and your daughters together in the name of jesus you are pairing them up by the spirit in the name of jesus according to your will and for your purpose and your glory in the name of jesus father i just thank you right now hallelujah for the wisdom that we're not gonna go running nobody down we're just gonna obey you and move in your time in the way you so desire in the mighty name of jesus father i thank you father i 
thank you, hallelujah, that you have identified those that it is their time for love and a lover. And so, Father, we receive it of you, Father, that it is your gift upon us, that it is your gift for your sons and your daughters, for your purpose, for your glory to be made manifest in the earth, Father, so that we can represent kingdom marriage in the earth, your first institution that you created in the earth for a reason, because it represents your son's love, hallelujah, and for your love, hallelujah, that you would send your only begotten son, hallelujah, that he would die for us in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, and that he is our bridegroom king, and that, and, that, and, that, and that we are the bride of Christ in Jesus' mighty name, so we will be examples of what you sent your son on the earth to do and to be to reconcile us back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for all reconciliation. I thank you for all restoration. I thank you for the reward they are here. They are upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory for it. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, hallelujah, for those that you've adorned, that you've prepared, that you've perfected. And Father, may we not be those that allow it to go to our heads or think that it's about us, man. We remain in a humble place, ready for what you desire to do in the name of Jesus, Father, so that we can still be in a position and used by you, Father, for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. May we not let um, a proposal, a ring, a, a wedding, a marriage, or anything go to our head, Father. May we remain steadfast in who you've called us to be and be faithful to you and and what you've called us to be, Father. May we also be may we also be faithful to complete the assignments that you have given us to our hands, Father. May we remain, may we have the right balance. May we listen to you. May we hear you, Father. May we keep you in your place in, 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 in our hearts and in our lives, Father. Not like, oh, you got your place, like where we keep you in a box. But Father, may we not lose the the, the your essence in our life, Father. May we continue to put you first in the name of Jesus. May we continue to seek you first for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, and may we continue to be who you've called us to be in the mighty name of Jesus and not be something that because we we just in this place because we're trying to get from your hand instead of being attached, connected, uh, in covenant with you for your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father, I pray this for my brothers and sisters right now, according to your will, purpose, and plan in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness, for your goodness, for your kindness. In Amanda, and Jesus' mighty name, I wasn't going to do this, y'all, but I'm going to go do this really quick. And so, Father, I just thank you right now that you're doing it. I thank you, Father, that none will lack their mate. None will lack their mate in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that your purpose is divine. I thank you that you make no mistakes in Jesus' mighty name. As we release your word over your sons and daughters right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. You are good. You are gracious. You are faithful. You are wonderful. And we call it done and we call it forth now by the power of the living God, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you that your words do not fail. You're not a man that you shall lie and you will perform all things that you have spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. And that which speedily, I thank you that none of your words are on hold any longer in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will fulfill every word that you have spoken over us and for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we submit and we surrender. We say yes to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness and for your kindness. You are true. Hallelujah. And you never, ever fail in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, we thank you, and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Listen, if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me, uh, Haps, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube, all at Lady Jeremia, so that you don't miss any words that Father has for you if you are if you have been assigned to our voice in this season, in Jesus' mighty name. The other thing is, if you desire to sow into this word, you can do that at paypal.me forward slash Lady Jeremiah, Venmo at Lady Jeremiah, or Cash App is dollar sign in Mana One. That's if Father leads you to do so. The other thing that I must do before um, we close is release this song that he just continues to put in my heart. The other day I was getting ready to come out the car and on the song, uh, on the radio comes this song, you know, and I'm like, Father, I just thank you. You're speaking to me. You're speaking to your sons and your daughters. And then earlier today, you know, on the radio, here comes this song again, you know, not something that I'm looking for, but it was his song um, and that he wants to sing over me, that he is faithful to his word. And I release that upon you all as well in Jesus' name. 
this is the time for you to fall in love with our Savior, fall in love with our Master, because there is no good thing that he will withhold from those who love him in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, and what should be shall be, and it will not be otherwise in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we just decree that upon you. So I'm going to release this song um, as we are getting ready to go. Um, and, and so I just believe that he is faithful and you're about to see him do it in Jesus mighty name. Listen, I was going to just log off, let it go until it died, but um, I felt led um, and he said it was okay uh, to go ahead and add a little bit more charge to this battery so that we could conclude um, um, editable Kusianda, hallelujah, and allow this prophetic worship to be so as well in Jesus' mighty name. I want to thank you so much for the seed, Lady Tasha. May the blessing of our Father overtake you in Jesus' name, Lady Kendra. Thank you so much for the seed. May the blessing of our Father overtake you in Jesus' name. So love won't give up on you, and Father is faithful to his word in Jesus' name. And the song that he just continues to allow to be sung over me and uh, to release you. Thank you so much for the seed, Lady Rosanna, Lady Nicole King White. Thank you.